This Reef Bro is on location. Welcome up to the 175. <laughs> Reef Bros. Today we got Brad on Reef Bros. He's gonna walk in eventually and he's one of those mystery characters you'll never see. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about gobies. <laughs> Stay tuned, we're bringing you up some fancy gobies in the house. <laughs> so we're looking at the 175. Looking for our goby. Ah! Spotted. And there he is. I'm munching away. Just keeping my sandbag clean. This is a blue spotted sleeper goby. Gobies. He ain't sleeping. He's sifting. Making a big old cloud of sand. Debris. Terrible things, but look at that sand bed. Look at that sand bed, Brad. That sand bed, Brad. What do you have to say about that <laughs> sand bed, Brad? Say something. say something really nice about my sand bed, Brad. I'm waiting. It's much better sand bed than it used to be. As I had cyano. I had algae. I had fish poop. From these fish. Is that called yeah. bum fluff? <laughs> so we're gonna talk to you about a long, long story, long, long time ago. Bubble algae. <laughs> Maybe you won't. <laughs> and how Brad beat bubble algae. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I think my wife loves me still, right? <laughs> Okay, so for those of you that are fighting bubble algae, I actually uh, acquired bubble algae through a fellow reefer when uh, when I bought some of his corals that were attached to some live rock. And a lot of people tell you that you know you can't beat bubble algae; that it'll always grow, that it's going to pull nutrients out of the water before you know GFO or anything else that you can commercially use. Um, but I actually found out that you can use algae to outcompete algae and I'm not talking just you know the way everyone does it with their chato reactors and things like that I actually introduced cyanoalgae into my sump um, I've got a Nova I think it's a 90 watt uh, LED and uh, it'll grow anything so when I introduced cyano the cyano was all through my sump it was it, it was over everything and it, it, it looked gross but you know it wasn't in my display and uh, cyano being a simpler form of algae actually pulled the nutrients out of the water sooner than the bubble algae could so eventually the bubble algae just died off and uh, you know I, the rock was clean the rest of my tank was clean and then it was just a quick chemi clean uh, treat chemi clean treatment 101 treatment and everything was gone and if you're not familiar with uh, how to use chemi clean Jordan's actually got a, a great video on how to use it do chemi clean treatment 101 we've got 92 so what did we learn, Brad? Oh, Reef Bros, episode number one. Oh, we learned that your fish eats fish poop. <laughs> I'm crying already. <laughs> Sand and, and uh, goby. Gobies. Learned a little bit about how to kill bubble algae. Bye bye bubble algae. So what? You get take bubble algae. You introduce cyanobacteria. Yeah. Cyanobacteria kills the bubble algae. It doesn't kill the bubble algae, it uh, uses the nutrients up faster than the bubble algae will. So it eats better than the bubble algae? Yeah. Bubble algae starves to death. Yeah. Starving bubble algae dies. Cyanobacteria wins. Cyanobacteria takes over bubble algae. You can take then chemically and kill off your cyano. Check out Reef Guy 92 Chemi-Clean Treatment 101. <laughs> Holy crap! This is Reef Bros. Coming from the 175 on location. Next episode, we're going to the one, what do you got? 125. Mm. It's kind of small for me, really. 50 gallons bigger, but that's okay. We're not saying bigger is better, right? Thanks for watching. Next Sunday. Take it easy. Learn something new every day. This is us uh, tuning off. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe. <laughs> As he tunes off to a new tune out the door. <laughs> Bye, Reef Bro. Bros. Come back again sometime. You guys know actors must feel like <laughs> they're not getting paid millions. <clears throat>